Have you ever wondered why many mythological heroes are born of virgins or have celestial parents? This question plunges us into the captivating world of mythology and the intriguing concept of the hero savior. These extraordinary figures, found in myths and legends across cultures, often boast an unusual parentage that sets them apart from mere mortals. The hero savior is not just a valiant figure who slays monsters or embarks on epic quests. Their unique origin stories often involve a virgin mother or a celestial father, underlining their divine superhuman nature. In the ancient world, the term virgin was less about physical purity and more about a woman not belonging to any man. The virgin mothers of these heroes were betrothed to gods themselves, further emphasizing their sacred status. These mothers, often known as the Mighty Mothers, were not just mere conduits for the birth of the hero, but held immense power and influence. They were seen as the axis of divine force, not dependent on any personal man. They were sacred, embodying a state of conscious openness to the divine. The birth of the hero from these Mighty Mothers is not just an event, but a phenomenon, a testament to the extraordinary destiny that awaits him. The hero's birth is often associated with a virgin, and the virgin and the beast that the hero must conquer are two aspects of the Mighty Mother archetype. This archetype, while embodying the terrifying and dark aspects of the Divine Feminine, also encapsulates the bright and positive side, portraying the virgin as abundant, good and nurturing. The hero's birth is exceptional, superhuman or inhuman, signifying that he is born of a demon or a celestial being. This exceptional birth coupled with the complete absorption of the mother in the birth experience, forms the essence of the myth. The mother's astonishment at having birthed something exceptional is an intensification of the birth experience, a testament to the miracle that a female is able to create a male from her. The birth of the hero is not just a simple event, it's a divine phenomenon, a testament to the extraordinary destiny awaiting him. But who is this virgin mother, this mighty mother, and what does she represent? A fascinating question indeed. The Mighty Mother archetype is a powerful symbol in mythology, often associated with the divine birth of a hero. She is no ordinary woman, but a sacred entity, untouched by any man. However, her virginity should not be understood merely in physical terms. It is a spiritual state, a conscious openness to the divine, making her a conduit of celestial energy. This sacredness, this connection with the divine, is not dependent on any personal man, but is an inherent part of the Mighty Mother's identity. The Mighty Mother also embodies a paradox. She possesses an element of masculinity, an auroboric force that remains anonymous at first. This force is initially subordinate to the Mighty Mother's feminine energy, representing a balance between the masculine and feminine within the archetype. Yet as the narrative evolves, this male energy gains prominence, standing alongside the Mighty Mother. This shift hints at the changing dynamics of gender roles across different eras and cultures. In the patriarchal world, the Mighty Mother is displaced by her prince, becoming subordinate to him. But despite this displacement, she retains her archetypal efficacy. She remains a significant figure, her influence undiminished. Crucially, the Mighty Mother is associated with the miraculous birth of the hero. Whether she is betrothed to a god, or is the goddess herself, her virginity and the miraculous birth of the hero are two sides of the same coin. They represent the dual aspects of the Mighty Mother archetype, symbolizing her power and influence in the hero's journey. Even beyond the narrative, the Mighty Mother archetype holds a positive, nurturing image. She is seen as abundant, good, and nurturing, embodying the benevolent aspects of motherhood. The Mighty Mother, with her divine connection, plays a crucial role in the hero's journey, setting the stage for his extraordinary adventures. She is not just a character in a myth, she is a symbol, a representation of the sacred feminine and the divine power of creation. The Mighty Mother is not just a nurturing figure, she also embodies a darker, more formidable aspect. This dual nature is a reflection of the hero's journey, filled with both nurturing support and formidable challenges. On one hand, the Mighty Mother reveals herself as a source of life and abundance, often represented as the Virgin, the Cow Mother of the Hero Son. This is the nurturing, life-giving aspect of the Mighty Mother, a beacon of light and hope to the Hero, a testament to the power of creation. She is the Archetypal Mother, the one who gives life, 
sustenance and unconditional love. Yet, there's another side to the Mighty Mother, a side that is as formidable as it is terrifying. This aspect is represented by the whale, a symbol of the vast unknown depths of the subconscious, the unexplored territories of the mind, and the labyrinthine complexities of life's challenges. This is the hero's adversary, the obstacle he must overcome, the challenge he must conquer. And who better to represent this challenge than the Mighty Mother herself? For the hero's journey is not just about overcoming external challenges, but also about confronting and mastering the inner demons, the hidden fears, and the uncharted territories of the self. The whale, then, is not just an adversary, but a representation of these inner challenges that the hero must face and conquer. The Mighty Mother, in her dual nature, embodies this duality of life itself. She is both the source of life and the challenge to be overcome. She is the nurturing force that gives birth to the hero and the formidable force that the hero must conquer to achieve his destiny. The Mighty Mother's dual nature is not a contradiction, but rather a reflection of the complex and multifaceted nature of life itself. Life is a mix of nurturing support and formidable challenges, of love and struggle, of light and darkness. And the Mighty Mother, in her dual nature, reflects this complexity, this duality of life. The Mighty Mother's dual nature reflects the hero's own journey, filled with both nurturing support and formidable challenges. We find Virgin Mothers across different mythologies. Let's delve into some notable examples. The concept of the Virgin Mother, a woman who gives birth without the involvement of a mortal man, is a widespread theme in many world mythologies. These women are often portrayed as sacred, their virginity representing a state of openness to divine influence rather than a physical condition. One of the most well-known virgin mothers is Mary from Christian mythology. Mary is revered for her purity and her acceptance of God's will as she becomes pregnant with Jesus by the Holy Spirit. This miraculous birth underscores the divine nature of Jesus, setting him apart as a hero savior figure in ancient Greek mythology, we encounter Danae, a mortal woman who becomes pregnant with the hero Perseus after Zeus visits her in the form of golden rain. Like Mary, Danae's virginity signifies her divinely chosen status, a woman selected by a god for the birth of a hero. In Hindu mythology, we find Kunti, who was granted a boon to call upon any god and bear a child. She bore her first son, Karna, in virginity by invoking the sun god, Surya. Karna, much like Jesus and Perseus, grows up to be a heroic figure, further highlighting the correlation between virgin births and hero saviors. In ancient Egyptian mythology, the goddess Isis conceives her son Horus after the death of her husband Osiris, often interpreted as a miraculous virgin birth. Horus, like his counterparts in other mythologies, is a hero savior, battling against the forces of chaos and evil. These virgin mothers, in all their diversity, underline the universal appeal of the hero-savior myth. Regardless of the culture or era, the narrative of a hero born of a virgin mother resonates deeply, perhaps because it speaks to our shared human fascination with the extraordinary, the divine, and the mysterious process of creation itself. The birth of the hero is not just a physical event, but a spiritual and transcendent experience. It's an episode that transcends the ordinary, breaking the mold of natural law and venturing into the realm of the divine. This is no ordinary birth. It's the genesis of a being exceptional, superhuman, and in many ways, otherworldly. The hero's birth is an act of creation that is far from common. It's an extraordinary event that resonates with the ethereal, the divine, and the celestial. Whether the begetting being appears as a monstrous whale or a holy dove of the Holy Spirit, whether Zeus takes the form of lightning or a humble animal, the essence remains the same. The hero's birth is exceptional, steeped in the supernatural, and tied closely to the divine or demonic. This birth is not just about the physical act of bringing a life into the world. It's about a transcendental experience that reveals the woman's creative power and her connection to the divine. The astonishment of the mother at having given birth to something exceptional, something extraordinary, is an amplification of the birth experience itself. It's a testament to the miracle of birth, especially the wonder that a female can create a male from her being. 
This miracle was often attributed by our ancestors to the nominous, the spirit, or the spirits of the ancestors. It's an ancient patriarchal experience, harking back to times when women were seen as causally connected with sex and therefore with the man. The initial birth experience is a matriarchal one. The man is not seen as the father of the son, but the miracle of birth is perceived to come from the heavenly. The woman's creative power is manifested in the miracle of childbirth, and by this virtue she becomes the mighty mother, the goddess of the earth. The hero's birth then is a testament to the divine power of creation and the extraordinary destiny that awaits him. The mighty mother archetype has evolved over time, reflecting societal changes. Initially, she was an omnipotent figure, symbolizing the primal force of creation and nurturing. Her existence was not tied to any man, but rather to the divine. She was the original, the virgin, the one who bore heroes and saviors without the need of a biological father. Her children were born of the celestial, of divine intervention, making them extraordinary beings destined for greatness. However, with the advent of patriarchal societies, the Mighty Mother experienced a shift in her role. She was no longer the dominant force, but became subordinate to the Patriarch, the Prince. But even within this new structure, she retained her archetypal efficacy. Even as she became secondary, her influence and importance in setting the hero on his journey remained undiminished. This evolution of the Mighty Mother reflects the changing societal views on femininity and motherhood. In early societies, Women were revered for their ability to create and sustain life, a miraculous feat attributed to divine intervention. However, as societies evolved and became more patriarchal, women's roles began to be defined by their relationships to men. Yet even within these constraints, the essence of the Mighty Mother remained. The Mighty Mother archetype, in all its forms and evolutions, represents a divine connection, a nurturing force that sets the hero on his path. She is the one who gives birth to the exceptional, to the superhuman. Her child is not merely a product of biological reproduction, but a miracle, a gift from the divine. The evolution of the Mighty Mother is a testament to the enduring power of this archetype. It speaks to the deep-seated human fascination with the miraculous, with the extraordinary, with the divine. It underscores the integral role of the mother figure in mythology and in our collective consciousness. While her role may have changed, the Mighty Mother remains an integral part of the hero-savior myth, embodying the divine connection and nurturing force that sets the hero on his path. Ultimately, the hero-savior myth is a mirror of our own human experience. Throughout the ages, these tales have captivated us with their themes of divine birth, nurturing mothers, and formidable challenges. They reflect the human condition in its most raw form, and as we delve deeper into these narratives, we find ourselves reflected back. The hero's journey, born from divine intervention, mirrors our own quests for purpose and destiny. We are born into this world, not from celestial parents, but from human ones. Yet, within us lies the capacity for greatness, much like the heroes of our myths. We may not slay dragons or conquer whales, but we face our own trials, our own monsters. They take the shape of fear, doubt, and adversity battles we wage within and against ourselves. The nurturing mothers, the mighty mothers. In these myths echo the deep-seated human need for care and protection. They are the epitome of love and sacrifice, offering their children to the world, knowing the trials they must face. They embody the essence of all mothers, fathers and caregivers, who in their own ways prepare us for the battles ahead. The formidable challenges that our heroes face are but a dramatized version of our own struggles. They symbolize the obstacles we encounter, the hardships we endure, and the resilience we demonstrate. These stories inspire us, reminding us of our potential to overcome, to triumph, and to transform. These narratives appeal to us because they resonate with our own experiences. They are not just stories of gods and heroes, but tales of humanity, our strengths, our vulnerabilities, our aspirations, they are a testament to the human spirit and its unyielding drive to endure, to evolve, and to excel. In the end, the hero-savior myth is not just about gods and heroes. It's about us, our dreams, our struggles, and our enduring hope for a brighter tomorrow.